Let's go and import people in our scene. Let's start the first one which we choose and what is actually the most important by importing people and what is most important for working on them further is just to convert them to the smart object because by just by uh, dropping in our scene and if you start to resize them you can lose a lot of pixels by deforming the image and the good thing is in converting them in smart objects is that the quality of your image never change and you can resize each time you would like to so by converting them you see the icon on your layer will change it uh, will say that you have your image as a smart object in your scene and by pressing twice on the layer you can go inside so let's start working on some of the people in our scene and put them in the right sizes but in general it's very easy to make mistakes with the scales of your personality and I'm gonna show you how you can fix it easily but let's choose some more nice people for our scene the lady in red and this guy I'd like to have it inside and again first thing convert to smart object and drop it to our scene so again the boy into a smart object drop it to the scene and start with the right position we would like to have and resize it without the fear once when we have our smart object let's flip it lady and put it on the left corner so and on and on we are continuing with the resizing and positioning the people into our scene which is our actually the first stage of our workflow on the uh, people images so let's go to 3d max and create a couple of boxes around in our scene with the measure of one person with 170 centimeters for example and by pressing ctrl and print screen you can have the image of your screen and just by pasting in your photoshop very roughly you can see the right position and the exact scale of the persons you would like to have in your scene and you see immediately what was really dangerous to do with some of our guys in the scene so let's move around again and rescale it in the right size of our boxes that things always help and actually will speed up your workflow when you have such task with important people you can do it easily and very very quickly by using the boxes with the size of one man which will allow you to 
work further on your scene and to have your project in one hour done like what I do now with my projects actually I've done the whole things with one hour which is pretty fast and really professional in the way of working fast and if your client need the result the day after which is one of the usual most usual cases in our daily workflow so let's continue and this is the final result with the position of all the guys in our scene what's coming next is let's play a little bit with the light which is falling on the bodies of our people let's crop the selection of each of them and you can start brushing it I just uh, converting the image the same image into the screen mode and start to brush it on the mask so just I need to uh, have a light in some of the parts of the body on each of our persons so you can play with opacity and with brush size also with the softness and you can brush more and more again on the parts you would like to have more light so to bring some more reality in the deepness of and actually this is the way how the each of the persons will fit to our scene so same thing i'm uh, doing with a new layer which I put on a color dodge mod painted with the black and with the white brush or a little bit yellowish I continue to brush over on each of my guys into the scene so that will react immediately on the sides where uh, we have more light or less light and always bear in mind with opacity when you work in the color dodge mode see you see uh, it's very powerful and with simple touches start to appear immediately and start to burn the colors so always uh, you have to keep in mind so don't increase much more than 10% best will be maybe with the 8% opacity so once when you've done with the brushing on the people I need to create a reflection on the ground so for that reason I just crop everything or I paint it with the people and duplicate all the layers in merging in one by control and E and I just by pressing control e T and stretching the whole image I just make a copy with the heads on the bottom so I need just to stretch a little bit and to put it on the feet just need to crop one by one to fit it in the right size and this will work actually and will help me to make the shadows of the people so again just by uh, copy the people image and flip it around just with the heads 
train to the bottom. Stretch it a little bit and put the feet in the right position. Also, you can put the shadow layer behind the layer with the people so to fit exactly behind the feet on the each of the persons and after you can cut it easily when something is stretched over or uh, you don't need to see For example here, I have overlapped the two layers and need to cut off what I actually don't need from the reflection layer. First, just move around the rest of the images below the people images and by selecting the mask of the people and go to the layer of my shadow and by pressing delete immediately I cut off all what I don't need actually let's put a opacity on 20% and you see start to work immediately I just need to put the blending mask on the reflection because actually I start to appears when it's much more closer to the body of each of the person and need to brush a little bit with the black over the heads on the people so the shadow disappears with the deepness of the ground and you see now it's start to work much more realistic and the people stick exactly with the lights and with a position into our scene and this is for now in the video of importing people